Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who's so close that you feel as if you could reach out and touch him. If you would just begin to praise his holy name, I'm telling you, he loves you and he has a plan for you and he has an escape for you. He has strength for you, healing for you, mercy and grace. He sits at the highest throne of the highest heaven that was made by the creator and speaks as the creator. Oh my goodness, and his words are life and truth. I've been thinking about going live for quite a long time now. And for whatever reason, I just couldn't get it to function properly, trying it doing this and that. And it didn't feel like it was time to start yet. And and all of a sudden, the Lord showed me to, well, try this. And so I did try this. And what you're seeing in front of me is what popped up. The time and date is on the screen. This is an unlisted video. So only people with the link can view it. I ask that you would pray over this information. I remind you in the book of Matthew 24, when the disciples asked them what would be the sign of the end of times and uh and the final destruction. And he said, take heed that no man deceive you. And so like right now, a lot of people are giving a lot of opinions. Is the snake bite the, the actual poison? You know, what about the, the right arm and forehead and stuff? And, and you know, it, it's not, it, they're saying, well, it's not the actual real biblical bite poison. Like when uh, Apostle Paul got bit by a viper and shook it off and, and God protected him and he shook it off. See the pot, I know I can only reach so many and I'm going to flow and nothing's going to stop me. You see what happened? Let me testify and then you decide on the things I am about ready to speak of. Go pray on it and then decide if this message should go out or not. Because it is about ready to get real. And I realize I'm not called to reach everybody, but I am called to reach someone. Let's get this thing moving. Let's come. Let me explain. I'm going to explain on your screen and come back to it. Show you my notes. Yeah show you my latest notes in my journal and get in a uh, and we're going to talk about how God will protect the children from what's coming upon the world quickly and suddenly triggered by world war involving Israel which is at the door the three seven war is at the door let the watchmen roar let him proclaim truth and speak peace and justice. Pronounce God's judgment and now warn of his coming wrath. And so I speak, and so I speak, and so I speak and say that what thus says the Lord God Almighty in heaven who baptized me with his spirit. And I pray that you do what biblically it, the Holy Spirit in you directs you to do and make sure that is the Holy Spirit in these last days and follow the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Maybe some are clicking away right now. That's fine. But I'm giving this message. It's a strong battle. There's a lot of people giving a lot of opinions. Should, is it okay to take the latest bite? Do I, I already took it. Should I get another? I, I got snake bitten twice. I felt like it was kind of wrong the first time, but then they demanded I get a second one and put all the pressure on me. And I realized, well, it can't be the MOTB. And so I went and got the second one. And now I'm considering the third and I'm here watchmen yeah, 
people call themselves and giving themselves the title of watchmen saying don't worry it's not the MOTB and it's okay to take it and try to use scripture to justify a very horrible deed of trusting in the government of man in the time of the end of all things you see you can discern the weather and the sign of the times when the sky turns red but spiritually you cannot discern that the MOTB is being placed upon in a mandatory fashion and you willingly are saying it's okay to have it put inside you when Jesus said, look, I am the healer. Can you imagine Rome coming to Jesus and, and telling him, Jesus, you know, I want to give you something that's going to change your DNA. And his DNA was from Yahweh, the Holy One. The Holy One who will thunder the seven thunders. Would Jesus say, okay, as long as I could stay here and get my message done? Would he allow God's DNA inside him to be changed by something a, Ro a, a, a Roman government forced upon him? Or would he say no unto his death? Well, the Jesus I know and the Jesus that I lives within me that went to the cross and rose up at it and deep beat death, hell in the grave and said, I'm coming soon and I'm sending a helper and I'm going to fill you all with the Holy Spirit. And there's going to be an end time outpouring and people are going to begin to have vision and dreams. And I speak of Dan Daniel, the prophet and how knowledge will increase and be revealed. And it's all going to happen. And at that time, the, let the, the, the priest, let the ministers of the Lord weep between the, the porch and the altar. In other words, you don't have time to get up to an altar anymore. Picture Solomon's temple. So you had the altar, and then you had an outside court, and then you had a porch. So there was an inner safe area where you weren't really totally in the world, but you weren't in God's presence either. And they're, they're saying, <laughs> the door is closing. When you see all these things and you see the outpouring upon the world and you see all the signs of biblical prophecy fulfilling and you see all the ones who've been baptized, it, Acts 2.38 and 2.39, who are really obeying me, who, who speak openly in the spiritual realm, who speak truth, who speak and things come to pass, because they were never a lie. That God is crying out. Make a distinction. Are you in the kingdom of God or are you in the world? There is no middle. There, this, this, this watered down, you can do anything, even take the MOTB because you're forever sealed and saved. No. The Bible does not say that after you take the MOTB can you receive salvation. It says you're dead spiritually. You're suffering the twice death, the second death. It says those who resist the devil and submit to God and the devil flees from, it says they are overcomers. Well, what are the end time watchmen in these last days willing to overcome for Jesus Christ? If you're caving into this now and saying it's okay, well, certainly when the MOTB is flashed, it's 1222. When it's flashed all across the whole world, well, you're going to be telling them it's still okay then? You see, because watchmen see in advance and they warn of things that are coming. And I continue to see people claiming to be watchmen who are only in it for the money, trying to, con con trying to conform to the world and conform their channel to the world so they could keep having money come in and conform to YouTube standards and control so they kind of compromise and change their message a little bit and they're now they're telling you don't worry about if you get the next job well who's that coming from 
I submit to you it's coming from the devil, the deceiver, the liar who comes to kill, steal, and destroy, and that Jesus highly disapproves of putting this poison in you and highly is upset and angry about the contents that in it, and people have injected this in it, and he's and how Israel is surrounded, and now 3-7 meant war, and how now the, the final watchman warning should be repent. Repent. Not conform, not compromise, repent. Having done all to stand, and when that evil day comes upon you, take a stand. What are you standing for? This world, this system, this U.S. government? And don't say it's not happening around the world in certain locations. This thing is in everywhere. They're claiming 21 Delta, which was prophesied in June. And all coming to pass, and now they're going to, Fauci's already talking about the Lambda. Let me tell you something. This next one, this third one that you're not hearing a lot about, but Israel is talking about it. Remember, all eyes on Israel. They're beginning. They've introduced it. And they're going to go on a lockdown. Israel will go on a lockdown and introduce this third one and make it mandatory so let's see knowledge and truth shall prevail when the knowledge comes from on high if it comes from man's and spots uh and and fl on your garment and fleshly and and wrinkled twisted truth then it won't come to nothing like all these rapture dates people keep sending me rapture dates i guess now there's another one this famous guy has been wrong over a hundred times and had videos warned about him and they're still one person even posted it on Patreon. I, I deleted it. No offense to that brother or sister. I'm not watching everything you do. But I clicked on it and I'm like, oh my gosh. I don't even know why that came up. Do not post any of that man's false prophecies. Now he's claiming the rapture is the seventh. No, it is not. Having done all to stand. Not to, not to flee. The ones fleeing in Judea are the ones that miss the raptures. 12.25.37 I got a lot of things to show you. Let me do biblically what God said to do. And then I'll end on this. It's So when I went to live stream, and I know you've been staring at this long enough, I'm just me and me. And you be you, okay? If you want to bounce, you can bounce. That's fine. I'm going to be me. What happened? Let me let me go to my notes. So there it says hope helpful links on specific details on your screen. It has one, two, two weather, uh, two YouTube messages that I linked to a weather thing that I linked to Manhattan. Uh, no, not Manhattan. Manhattan. Manhattanda.org and a third YouTube link and then it's talking about Santa Rita was this what I heard Santeria and this is witchcraft let me tell you it's already I've already explained this in the 21 Delta prophecy it's all fulfilling it's over six hours long so I won't bore you with the details right of the truth of the matter but I am going to give you some scriptures. What I said was the FP would begin to rise and join with the AC and that they would introduce the religion with all this one world O-R-D-E-R -E -R that's going down and stuff that you can't talk about or be flagged as a conspiracy theorist even though it's on the back of the, the, the dollar bill that everybody loves so much. This is this is a witchcraft day of the dead type spirit. So witchcraft has entered their church. The FP has over one billion. One billion. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'll let you look at something else. Just remember that there. So the FP is going to be using this through through the Catholic uh, Church. Don't worry, there's good news. I hear the Holy Spirit say, peace, be still. 
I say unto the storm that rages within you. Cry out, Holy, Holy, are you Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come, and I will come and comfort you in that day. So the FP is going to introduce witchcraft into the one world final church. It's going to be added to the MOTB. The world leaders are going to begin to introduce it as mandatory everywhere. I don't know how many people will watch this, but I'm going to tell you whatever I put in this box right here is meant to be heard today, right now. 12.28 p.m. on 8.5.21, right here where I'm sitting in Northern California. Northern California is on fire, okay? It, 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 it's no joke, and, and don't worry about this Google stuff. I'm almost done with Google. These will, Don't worry about me warning. These warnings are coming to an end, okay? But I'm telling you, we're in the middle of fire and danger that... These man-made fires were prophesied. Fire and floods and pillars of smoke were prophesied. There's your 3-7 right there on the screen. Isn't that strange that yesterday it was 100 degrees? And the wind came in to stir this new fire? Let me tell you something that you should be mindful of. It's called the river fire. And the smoke is going to begin to settle down on us where Gail and I sit now. But you know how she goes up to see her dad? Only the remnant family believers would know personal stuff about Gail and I. Or would even care. Like how the kitten's right here on my lap. I, I begin to think YouTube don't care. And that's why this is unlisted. I'm beginning to think that there's a separation of those who are fully baptized in the Holy Spirit and those who aren't. And the one who aren't fully baptized, with, the, and I'm going to say this, baptized in the Holy Spirit to me means speaking in tongues. I don't know what you've been taught or what it means. What I raised up, his spirit fell on me. His spirit fell on me. And I've told the testimony of it and the life-changing event, the born-again experience, receiving the gifts, fasting and praying for the gifts, whether to be used now for such a time as this. Red alert, red alert, red alert. 1 Corinthians 12 and wisdom and knowledge. So yesterday... This fire, just remember river fire, because Gail goes up there once a week, but you can't go up there right now. 80, 80 is affected, 174 is affected, 49 is affected. This huge fire right here is burning out of control up there at 0% containment. There's a 3-7. This thing has destroyed over 40 homes. This is all families. This is not your normal fire. And this is a small fire. There's another one, the Dixie Fire up north in the Reading area where Gail's sister lives. Please pray. Please put a prayer petition of protection at Psalm 91 up for this family. I mean, we could see the smoke from here. Gail has her nephew up there and her recently uh, recent wife that I've talked on here for 10 years for who sat here and came on video like 10 years ago. Um, her dad is up there. She has a cousin up there. Um, her brother and his fiance is up there. Uh, just a lot of family up there. And so that's the river fire. So this started yesterday. But let, let me get off that. So the fire started. So I just kind of wanted to check the, the news of what was trending here. Uh, let me, uh, let's play Psalm 91 right here. So I was told, I was told to read this and, to, and advise you that we are experiencing the prophecy that was given John the Revelator about the apocalypse and we are going through revelation in 2 3 right now and approaching revelation 4 1 come up hither did you hear what i said my watchman warning if you choose to believe that this is truth 
if you're fully baptized and filled and and truly following Jesus and not just playing games, well then you uh, hopefully you're out seeking him and not me, amen. And hopefully that's what's happening. He that he he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. And if you don't want to hear this, just fast forward ahead. I don't have a problem with uh, whatever you do. I'm giving the message as supposed to do. It's 1233 on August 5th. Surely he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler. Okay, so we're expecting to be delivered from some type of snake trap. So uh, what's fowler? Definition. Yeah, Holy Spirit. So I'm, I'm thinking this is going to be probably a 45 minute video, depending on how long it's been right now. Come on, mouse. In Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. I won't be silenced. Fowler. Is a fowler someone who catches fowl like birds? For he will save you from the trap of the fowler and from deadly pestilence. Look. The third shot, the next shot, somehow they're going to figure it out to tie it to your finances. They're already telling you right now. My wife received a notice for her, her employer of over 30 years. That starting 8 1, the snake bite is mandatory for employment or weekly tests and a Christian exemption. They call it a religious exemption, but what the Lord had showed me is lawsuits are coming to all these huge corporations. They're gonna have to undo the they're gonna have to undo the constitution. You see, you have a right. To not be medically dominated by man. Because your body's a temple. And what he's saying that when it came upon the whole world. And a trap was set by someone that sets traps to go get foul. So I'm going to tell you something's foul right now. I think that's what fowler is. Let me look it up on my phone. Something's foul right now. And from the deadly pestilence. You know what that is? That's, that's these... Man-made Delta variants that I was warning people about in 2012 and how the government would make them mandatory. True fact. In 2012, and that they were trying to take me in custody in Sacramento downtown. May I never go back there again because I got out and moved north. Um, because I was refusing to take the, the mark and it was inside a syringe. And I was claiming it would change your DNA. I said all that 10 years ago. And I say all that to say this, man. Who are you trusting in to save you from the deadly pestilence right now? Man or God? Because man's way is a trap. So who are you listening to and what are they encouraging? <clears throat> Anyone encouraging you to trust this man-made disease and sickness is deceived do nothing but pray for them but no i wouldn't be taking their advice that's my personal opinion forever it's worth for anybody out there that's still standing and still remaining and truly still serving jesus in spirit and in truth and obeying him will then say amen I mean, confess Christ before men. He'll confess you before the Father. Nowhere in there does it say to confess man-made poison when you see all the signs of the AC rising. Man, it's talking about people. That it's over. People are saying, you know, 
Romans 13, obeying man, okay, well, yeah, look, I've done that my whole life. I'm 57 years old. I've been a watchman since I was like six. I'm not making any of that up. The dream I had in sixth grade is what I saw looking out my backyard right now in this house, 57 years old. I've shared all this. It's, it's logged, it's documented, no one can change the truth. But what you see happening is a delusion will change the truth into a lie. And lies are being told here that it's okay for you to go out and get this. And it, they're being told by people claiming to be watchmen and by churches and ministries and stuff. They're defending, they're actually defending the man's solution over God's assistant saying he. So which word is capitalized here? It's he, right? Okay, let me read it again. My God in whom I trust with great confidence and on whom I rely. So we run out to get this thing, who are you relying on? Let's talk some common sense here. He will save you from the trap and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you and completely protect you with his pinions or, or wings. And under his wings will you find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a wall. You will not be afraid of the terror of night, nor of the arrow that flies by day. That's the sickness. So why, uh, look, nor of the pestilence that stalks in darkness. You know what pestilence is? It's, it's a fatal worldwide disease. That's what pestilence is. A pandemic is pestilence. And says everybody going to start falling away from you. Talking about David. It says you will only be a spectator as you look on with your eyes and witness a divine repayment of the wicked as you watch safely from the shelter of the Most High. And yeah, you know where you'll be. You'll be sitting with him in heaven because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil will befall you, nor will any plague come near your tent. So is it saying, does this verse tell you let me, let me, uh, too real, right? Minister Paul, keeping it real, 100%. He will command his angels in regards to you to protect and defend you and guard you in all your ways of obedience and service. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will, so that you do not even strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. The young lion and the serpent will trample underfoot. So does this say to go out and accept uh, serpent stuff or to trust God. It's, well, I'm going to tell you exactly what it says. It says, because you're making God number one and choosing his protection and not man's, have set traps. And who causes him to set these traps? Demons. So let me say like this, because you're believing demons speaking through others who oppose the truth, because they're claiming, Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name and cast demons out? Are they speaking in tongues? Are, have they laved hands on the sick? Have they recovered? Have they done the acts that, the, uh, that Jesus said we could do with the book of Acts? Have you seen any miracles, signs, or wonders following their ministry? Because Matthew 16 said, those are the signs that should follow those who believe. All those things, trading on serpents, not going out and put the serpent juice in you, but keeping it far from you. Lord Jesus, I'm coming back and I'm closing with this scripture right here. Let's go. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, latest news. Union boss Trump the dead. I haven't checked that out yet. Apple to scan U.S. phones for images of child abuse. So Apple's now going to scan your f pictures? I'm telling you what, you better figure out what you're going to do with your smart devices and, and realize who's listening to you and who you've given permission to through apps and uh, 
suggestions by having a cell phone, a smartphone. All those people, they're all watching you, listening, recording you, tracking you, following you, and they'll start harassing you. Now, I understand they're going to scan for whether you've committed a crime or not before a crime has even been committed, again, against the Fourth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. And I was taught when I worked in the industry that says that you are protected from illegal search and seizure. So undo the Constitution. Meanwhile, Israel is ready to strike Iran. <clears throat> I'm going to say it again. Israel is ready to strike Iran. Scientists are claiming that Israel is now 10 weeks away from breakout to nuke. 10 weeks. Remember that? 10 weeks. This fire. What sheriff office is warning this? Butte? Dixie fire. Okay, so that's a little north of me. Let's continue on with this important message. The Lord is compelling me. Here's the current date and time. I've sat here and done this for 10 years. To the glory of the Lord. And he has me decreasing. And so I'm still standing on what this ministry was f founded upon. Righteous Cry Ministry. Righteous Cry Ministry here was founded on a belief that I didn't have to serve man, that I could serve God, and that I made a, I was born again and I chose to follow God and, and Jesus Christ specifically to get to God as my high priest. As he talks about the book of Hebrews. And how he's talking right now to his people, the truth. The same truth, I'm sticking to the truth. That I believe the third is the one. And any, I, I also believe anybody telling you that it's not is deceived. And there's a lot of people out there. I was just kind of looking around today, kind of caught up on stuff and working on Sunday's message about Protect God protecting the children in the final hours. That's what Sunday's message is about. If you want to come by Sunday, it's amazing. It's 8-8. Eight, eight. 88. There were eight people on the ark. And eight is the number of new beginnings. So I've always believed 88 is like new beginning completed with perfection by Christ. And so I see 88. and I see Jesus Christ in that number. I don't know. So it's 8-8. Eight, eight. It's 8-8 eight, eight and don't set a date. Because I guess people do. Um, I'm not. 10 a.m. Same time. If the Lord wills it. God has given me a special message about him saving our children in the last days. And given me very specific scriptures on it. And so as I prepare for this message, I was given Psalm 91, which I've addressed. And what I was told is that we are in this time period right now, and I'm actually going to play this. So this probably will about be about 45 minutes. I will also put this on Rumble and the website after I get it on Patreon established. I was shown... I was shown this school, and I, I received this location from a sister, a sister on YouTube, who has been giving comments for literally years on here, was asking about a point, and where the point met. And God showed me the, I just, okay, let me stop talking. Y'all know who I am and what I do. Let me flow in the Holy Spirit. It's called Cane River and Cane River Middle School. And it's in North Carolina. The sister had wanted to know at what 
exact what was at this intersection where these two red lines crossed and God gave me a message out of her question. And so I'm addressing that right now. I mean, look at my little, oh, here it is. I was going to say my Google Earth disappeared. It's just a white square right now. Like, yeah, this Earth's going to be gone too. Okay. She was talking about, she was saying, if you go, I, I'm tempted to say her name right now because we all know who she is, but I'm hesitant to be wrong because there's a lot of people listening. So on the map that I've explained, uh, mostly, I still have a little bit of explaining and uh, uh, scriptures to add to this. So here's where the building collapsed in Florida, how quickly things just are hushed under the rug and forgotten of. What happened was they built all of those buildings cheap. They're mobsters, man. They're gangsters, and they work with world leaders. They're criminals, and they use cheap stuff to build all that. What happened, I hear the Lord saying, is they built their house on the sand and not the rock. So she's like, so go straight up north. You know, not this one. This one. This is what I understood her to mean. Go straight up north to where this intersection crosses. And so I, I was interesting too. And I, she believed she said it was 17 SMA. And so I was real curious. And so if this happens again, I'm telling you MP might give a shout. You know, <laughs> I'm telling you in advance, what's the time? Bad things are coming to this earth. See, people are waiting for God to bless this earth when he, he already cursed this earth and how it ends and pre-wrote that and he's not changing his plans we don't serve a lying wishy-washy double-minded god we serve a god of order who keeps what he says it says what he means so watch this so i come down here yeah this is just literally all kinds of jesus so i, I come down here and I see this, and I notice it's like, it looks like a dried up creek bed or something. I didn't look real close. There might be a little water in there. But I'm like, well, I do, I, I'll tell you how I was led by the Holy Spirit to do this. And you can judge and test the Spirit. You could pray. You could rebuke me in the day of Jesus. And, you know, if there's any demons around me, please pray them away because I ain't about none of that. Let me, let me go back a second before I show you this. Yesterday, my pastor, I have a pastor. I don't attend his church physically, but he was, he was the, the teacher in all of my uh, post-ministry classes. There's follow-up classes when you go through the ministry. I think there was like 10 weeks. And he was the teacher for almost all of those, unless something had arose. And he and I were part of the same church, and we both left that church. And so my idea is the same as his idea, and I highly suggest you listen to what he's saying right now. YouTube or Facebook channel, Pastor Larry Bergens, B-I-R-G-A-N-S, Pastor Larry Bergens, New Life. I'll, I'll tell you, New Life in Christ Jesus Church, Sacramento, Cal California, Pastor Larry. So he's online, and so I listen. When, when he gets under the anointing and, and the fire of God comes upon him, he's an apostle. I believe this. I, I have been called to watch and warn, and whatever you want to call that, that's clearly my job because it's all coming to pass. If it wasn't from God, I mean, the devil can't prophesy the end of the world and be right. The devil can't say the date is Jesus is coming. So if you keep getting rapture dates, the next one being 8-7, uh, and you put all your hopes in that, you're hoping in man and the devil. I'm just going to keep it real and just keep it more real and more real. And when people complain and I'll start leaving and running, I'll be even more real and truthful. 
voicemail from Blind Magic, it said, up on my monitor up there. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, 8 is not the rapture. And that's the same as just going out and hoping in man to be able to cure you from a disease. When God says to trust in him. So I was like, what is the... I'm just being real. This ain't for everybody. But I will do it gently and in love and not mockingly or prideful. I promise you that. I'll be the first one to humble myself. And when it's time to get into that line, I'll be... I pray I'm first to be humbled to receive his grace. So I'm like, okay, let's be fair about this. It's on a waterway. So what's the closest area where people, oh, oh, pause, please. Yeah, this is going to be longer than uh, 45 minutes. I'm going to tell you because I got more to say, a lot more to say. And I will never hinder the Holy Spirit speaking through me. When I believe that the Holy Spirit is speaking, I will never hinder that. That was FedEx at my door. Delivered something that I did not order. Something strange going on. An expensive item I didn't order in my name. I had to sign for. But anyway, that's for another day. I was trying to witness to him and look him in his eye and explain and, and be like in the now moment and let's talk about Jesus. And I guess people are in such a hurry now. He was just looking at me strangely as if like I'm infected. I mean, how do people know if I have the V or the... I mean, he's wearing a mask... How does he know? Like I'm a Christian that's against. How do they know, saints? Why won't they talk to us? Those have gotten all these bites and snake bites that were told not to get and they trusted the wrong voice. And why is it they're acting so weird all of a sudden as if this is all just some kind of dream, right? It's like the dude had no interest in even hearing one word that came out of my mouth other than hello. And it's not even anything I ordered. So the Lord told me back to the map. Here's the date and time. It's 101 or 103, 3. He said, How, what's the closest you could get? What building, what building is do you think is closest to this X? And what's the closest you could get? So I determined that this building was more closer than that building. And so I decided to see where will the little man let me go? Because I started discerning an area spiritually now. You see, Christ said that's foolishness to those who perish in darkness. Because spiritually things are discerned spiritually. And I'm telling you something spiritual. And hopefully you're serving the same Jesus I am. So, I mean, it, it's not that difficult. So following the sister's comment and after prayer, I, I come see this and then I noticed, hey, this is tying into what could be my last sermon. In how many days? In three days. So I come down here, and I'm trying to just keep in mind, I'm trying to find the exact point of where those X's cross. And I, I stumbled upon something. It, 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 I, we're going to switch maps here in a second. Bear with me a little bit. I, I mean, if I could find... The same thing I found last time, like a needle in a haystack. I want to do it, and I want to do it without editing and give God all the glory. So it was like a, so here's one of the lines. So it was like a river. I don't remember this area. Let, let me let me see where the, the water is. Because what he's doing is he's spraying some type of chemical or something. 
in the uh, in the water. What's happening here? Did you see a little the space? What? <laughs> Let, let's do this again. So ultimately, we're going to get it over to this map, and I do have scripture. It's a, it's Cane River Middle School, and the Lord told me the murderous spirit is named Cain. And oh my gosh, I'm getting an even deeper revelation now. I would love to show you my kitty if there was some way. Um, if it comes up, I'll let you know because she just jumped on my lap. And so we're going to switch to this map, but I, I need to flow right now. There, I mean, something amazing happened. And so look at this. Do you know how many times every week doing the word of God, putting it out until I was so weary I couldn't even go on and continue myself. And I'd do like a repeat or ask for a guest speaker to try to help me out or something. Uh, just ne uh, never mind about that part. So, so he showed me this. Every time at 1137, I would say, every time for 10 years, I've always said, hey, look, it's 1137. Because there were 11, because this is an 11th hour ministry that was prophesied by Pastor Larry. The one that I feel is the only one I'm letting teach me anything. When it comes to the spirit, in the spirit of God and things of the spiritual gifts and healing and deliverance and how to avoid demons and not be oppressed or possessed by them. I've chosen a guy that I trust. And I met him in 2007. So 14 years. 1137, 37, the, the angel told me those numbers meant war. And now I'm telling you war is at the door. I may just let this flow for a while. Locust and flies swarm White House. Is this something I can show or? See, people take a 30 second thing and look, it's a 30 minute video. So, pass. sorry my brother, keep it real. We wanna see the thing. Back to this. So here's where we are, we're gonna cover all this. I know, that's why I'm not gonna trip and let the enemy make me rush or, actually, can I say this and be real? Let the enemy make me do anything. So, up pops this church, Cane River Church, and I'm told Rachel is weeping for his children. Hi, kitty, kitty. And I will protect the children from the murderous spirit of Cain. And now what the Holy Spirit just told me right now while making this, it's 1.09 p.m. He said that there were five evil spirits. No, I, I get it. I, I mean... I mean, I don't think other people are going to be under, to able to understand unless I spend a little time on what I'm trying to explain to you. So I'm, I will. I'm going to have to backpedal a little bit. But see, I'll forget if I continue because it's a spiritual matter and I'm still a human being. How many people down here are still just regular old human beings? Well, praise God. You know what that means? That makes us redeemable. So he wanted me to come down here and search on that exact topic. I can close this. Yes, I'm going to try to keep this video under two hours and put it on the website. Five evil spirits is what I was told in 2013. And I've covered this a lot of times, but as it comes up, I feel it's fair to reference and cite as proof that the warning was given in advance. So the Lord told me to look up five evil spirits. So this, there's three that pop up. We'll do this real quick. We don't have to spend a lot of time on this. 
And again, you see how they've removed the date? There's no date to reference. Uh, that's why I put in the dates. You see how good God is? If you go to check a history in the back, all of your comments will be gone. Look. Not, you, they, they, they want you to tell you that MP over here who can't never be quiet never left a single comment on this. I'm telling you, it's every single video I've made in the past that was prophetic, and I'm talking about going way back. You, I can't comment on, and uh, the comments I made have all been removed, and they strip it of a date. It's the most bizarre thing, but people bear witness. Look, eight years ago, right? So God is saying that there's a message in this. And so what am I talking about? <clears throat> Here's a web link. This is, I feel like this is turning into an exposed video. River search continues for bodies and SUV accident. You know where that was? Lord, stop. What do I do, God? <clears throat> I just saw something that's about ready to make me cry, man. And I don't know, do I make this shorter video or make it a longer video or do I try to talk nicer? Or look, man, do you see what's on the thing? It's becoming to where no one is even understanding, man. They think I'm crazy. Look what's on the thing, the Delta. Right here, cruise along the Delta. Please listen. I remember this. An SUV crashed into North Bacon Island. All the islands... All the islands I was warning about a decade ago. An SUV carrying as many as eight people went into the water Sunday morning near North Bacon Island Road and Lower Jones Track Road. One of the two survivors of the Delta incident said they were going fishing. However, no fishing gear has been found. What's that about? And look, it's eight people. And I'm talking about a message on 8-8 eight, eight, and how there were eight people on the ark. And again, the river fire grows. Um, stop the press. So map time. We can come back to this. It's God made this map. Cane River School. There's a, let me just speak prophetically. It's Cane River. A river. And the most important message God has given me right now is the children are in danger. And he will protect them. But there's going to be a wailing for the ones who take. The ones who, I'm just going to say this. It's. Bible scripture. If I'm not allowed to say Bible scripture, then they can shut it all down right now. It says that those who take the mark of the beast, whatever someone's trying to convince you that is, you need to decide for yourself and, and really figure this out. What, where are we at in Bible prophecy? And whether you truly do have years or not, If you take that, the children born are cast into great tribulation and are killed. I'm going to play that. It's actually the scripture that I'm going to play before I end this. Revelation 2 and 3. It's right now in the warning I'm getting. Please listen. Is that the children are in danger. So that's a river. It's the murder spirit of Cain. It has to do with those five spirits. And they're talking about Bacon Island in the article listing eight. So North Bacon Island, Stockton. Can everybody see? I just took this from the link where people are commenting from eight years ago. I'm taking that link and that warning of the Delta, which is fulfillment of the 21 Delta prophecy six hour video been on YouTube for several several weeks in advance 
telling you what is now happening now. Now I'm telling you what is coming, believe or not. I made a video about all of these islands. And you know where else all these type of islands are? They're in New York. New York is in danger. The children in New York are in danger, I hear the Lord saying. So here's where Bacon Island Road takes me. And so here's where the crash happened. And as we span out, do you understand and see what this is? It's the Delta. This is the Delta. And something weird is going on with Governor Newsom because he, this is a Delta. He, he's, you know what else is a Delta? I believe Marin County. Look, three, it just changed right in front of my eyes. Rewind it and go back. Three, seven, seven miles. And I looked at it and it changed and I didn't touch nothing. Oh, look, 3-7, war's coming, and 8, the number that were killed there in the Delta. And I hear that saying it will be expounded by thousands and thousands of thousands. Shall the death number be? So then this obviously is going to lead out. And look, are you kidding me? Holy smokes, Lord Jesus. It's where this, that is, Marin County. I mean, like, this where I put tsunami is Marin County. An earthquake, a tsunami caused earthquake. Is this a little ship right here? Or an island? Praise God, it's not a ship. It's going to be destroyed, whatever it is. Marin County. Some type of inlet. It gets destroyed and wiped out. It, and it actually leads to where those eight people were killed. Which actually lines up with the tsunami line. And uh, and I keep talking along that line. And you'll bill me as crazy too. But let's, let's check out the other two quickly here. I know time is so precious and valuable. The number two one that pops up on searching the five evil spirits. It was January 28th. You know what January 28th was? At, at this point, I need to stop. January 28th was the day that my dad warned Challenger would explode. One, I'll ne it's a day that I will live in infamy. One twenty-eight. 1986, my dad pre-warned in advance that Challenger would explode and why, and it did, and they walked him off the base, blackballed him and Target harassed him for the, the, for the rest of his life, and now he's gone. And he left me a final message, and he said, there's going to come a contamination. And then the lights went out. So... Let, let's let's take a step backwards. I'm willing to show you my own personal notes. This is a this is a second journal I have that's called the Outpouring. This began. I have another journal that goes back to 2007. It's over 90 pages long. I'm not bragging. I'm telling you, I can prove things. If people start saying I said this and that, I have records and documentation of what I said. Okay. Any questions, ask me. Note, prophecy conclusion of an angel shows me numbers 3 and 7. So my second one, this one's, it's just a few pages long, and it's just things that are occurred during the outpouring of Joel 2 and Acts 2. An angel shows me numbers 3 and 7, July 5th, 2012. Okay, now listen. The final revelation I got on this war is that at the height of this war, there will be nuclear missiles incoming into the USA. I said it, that's right, one headed right for Chicago, I said it. Nuclear missiles incoming to the USA. The USA is destroyed, they can't protect Israel. It's God that protects Israel. 
and, and, and it's God's will that this USA be destroyed. And anybody preaching otherwise ain't really preaching the truth of how the Bible ends. So they can only tell you it doesn't end. So in order to justify that the world isn't ending right now, then they have to tell you, well, the mark of the beast is here and it isn't here. And so if the mark of the beast isn't here and there's no beast here, then it can't be. It has to be years from now. I beg to differ with that nonsense. The Lord showed me who the AC is and I exposed it on here before he even got reelected in 2012. The Lord told me in November. November of 11, 11, 11, when this 11th hour ministry began in 11, 11, that's the same number that's on my certificate that used to hang in the office before I was told the certificates mean nothing. It was 11, 11. And see if that was still standing up there today because the detractors ordered it come down and I take my cross off and all this fleshly nonsense. That people now they're trying to tell you it's not the mark of the beast. Those same people were telling me to take my certificates down that labeled 1111. And now God's bringing it up again, 1111. Where's 1111? It's on my final warning date calendar. It's on the very certificate. Pastor Larry prophesied it's documented. This is 1111. Final day, November 10th, 21 to what? For me to warn on social media. That's it. Not adding, not to, my final warning for me to warn on is 11.11. I just now, it's 1.22 p.m., 8.5.21. It's Minister Paul. I'm still in Northern California. I'm still filled with the promised Holy Ghost and speaking in tongues of fire and operating in gifts and miracles and signs and wonders are manifesting because I'm operating under his anointing and his praise and his joy. We're going to close with the word. I just noticed that I was called into ministry on 11.11 and sold my business and all that and let all that go. And Pastor Larry confirmed in a video a decade ago that it was because this is an 11th hour ministry and it would be at a time when missiles were incoming into Chicago and a big EMP happened and the satellites there were controlling the weather and manipulating it to cause earthquakes. That the Lord has shown me so the ministry started 11 11 and warning the ministry socially wise is ending 11 11 it's going to be an MP do whatever with that information you want but I'm bringing it up right now 128 13 so Pastor Larry and I'll close these notes I was told that channel 37 has been a weaponized government weapon on TV, satellite frequencies, 37 delta frequencies, 37 uh, megahertz. That The three and the seven represents the, the, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost represented in one as Jesus. And the seven represents completion of all things. The three and the seven is Jesus. And this is his war. And he wins. The final warnings you will hear as the church is raptured up will be coming across channel 37s. And people are going to look up and they're, they're going to see, oh, like, tune to channel 37. Tune to the secret channel 37 on your TV. That's right. Check it out. Check it out. Go go have a look. So this revelation is coming forth. And, 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 and you know why? Because look what happened yesterday in my personal journal. It says that, do you know, go do some research on Channel 37 on the TV. They conspired to hide it. They don't use it. They don't use it on TV. They don't use it on radio waves. Now I'm finding even on low band frequencies, it's reserved for government special use. All types of forms that involve frequencies. And I keep hearing the the, the delta frequencies and 3-7. So, Pastor Larry, I was talking to him yesterday and we were discussing some things about the end times and where we're at. Again, he's the man that, the only man that I will let teach me anything 
when it comes to spiritual matters. And this channel has stood for truth and mercy and grace from the, from the get-go. And now it's telling you it's ending. He's the guy, right, that I, I would want prayer from. I asked him yesterday for prayer. Very rare for me to just say, could you pray for me? And he prayed and the, the Holy Spirit revealed to this man. Pastor Larry in Sacramento, new life in Christ Jesus, his wife Olga and his family. Please pray for him, man. That's my man of God, you know. He knew the answer to my prayer. I was just realizing today, in prayer today, this happened yesterday, that I never told him my prayer request. My prayer request is that everybody's coming, becoming so confused. And I see that it's appearing that the end of all things are at hand and everything's lining up. And the majority of people are tending towards either the raptures on the 7th or this this snake bite thing going worldwide and becoming mandatory can't buy and sell is not the mark the i i going to say it again like 80 percent the majority are believing that and most of the people i used to hang with and chat with and and call a brother here or sister on on the tube are believing it simply has nothing to do with it that is this isn't the end but Pastor Larry, the one I'm listening to, he knew my prayer request that I needed an answer to all the questions I'm getting on how to supply an answer. And, and then he begins to prophesy over me. And I began to receive something and receive something. And immediately as I felt it, immediately as I believed what was being prophesied for my man of God over me, I reached up and I grabbed it by faith. And in so manner shall you reach up and grab the Holy Ghost and begin to speak in my language, says the Spirit of the Lord. Not your language, my language says the spirit of the lord and so i reached up by faith i heard it i knew it was something for me i knew it was an answer to prayer but i realized i had never spoken my prayer request to this man of god i haven't even told him this i don't even know if he even listens to my messages it's not an issue with me whatever he's doing is okay in the eyes of god so uh, what would I say to try to hinder anything he's doing for the kingdom of God? Yet people come against them. And they come against me. So he was saying revelation, knowledge, revelation, knowledge, revelation, knowledge, increase, increase. It wasn't until I stopped shouting out and receiving it long enough to hear what he was saying. And I felt something. And I haven't felt that since 11-11. Not the month, the year 11. I was sitting in a patrol car guarding an arson scene and the Holy Spirit had been speaking to me about fallen angel technology and how even schools some, could somehow use it. And I began to warn on YouTube that series on here, I'm not looking up a bunch of stuff right now. You're just going to have to believe me or not. It was called a, a five-part series, a, a three-part series on fallen angels. And as I was praying that, I felt this spiritual attack come upon me. And suddenly, Pastor Larry called me. This was in 11, 11. And he began to pray over me, and he began to rebuke a spirit of Python. It was a, I'm telling you prophetically, it was a spirit of Python that slowly, slowly, little by little, crushed its knowledge and truth out of you. It comes through the spirit of Jezebel. It's a python. It slowly suffocates you. I have, email me if you're concerned or in fear about that. I have deliverance prayers and messages from the spirit of the python. Because it doesn't just instantly kill you. It's a constrictor. It just doesn't suddenly just bite you and you're dead. <clears throat> this is a rhema word right now. It slowly squeezes the life out of you. And people are, the life is slowly being squeezed, squeezed out of you right now. And if it's a life that's in love with the world, then you've, you've missed it. You got to let this world go. And so I received something in 11.11 and now I've received it 
warning of my final day of 1111. And what I did was I received knowledge on today, 8-5, I received knowledge, you probably already read it while I babbled, while listening to Revelation 1, that holy knowledge will come from the word now. Listen always to Revelation. There's 22 chapters. In Daniel and Thessalonians, I'm told we are at 2 and 3 right now. And the seals, after chapter 4, the seals will open up. And everybody left behind then is... In, in in tribulation in great tribulation is you know it, this this midpoint thing and pre thing you know I, i'm just so past that so i'm telling you we're going to close with reading revelation two and three uh, i'm going to play it audibly i'm not going to read it to you so that's my notes so in 128, 13, and 13 is a Freemason number, and NASA are Freemasons. Yeah, I said it. That's right. Warn my people. A dream, vision, and revelation. Five, e I didn't see this. Five evil spirits. And 11, 11's here too. And 43 is a 7 and 3. It's a 73 too, like in the, the temperature thing. Now it's saying it's 82. Yeah, since it's not right. Down here, look, it says 82, and that says 74 or whatever. Warn my people, please heed this message. Five destructive spirits. Please note at the start when I say, well, that's just stuff about my company and blah, blah, blah. But I do name these five evil spirits. So let's so that's number two. We've got some wisdom and knowledge from that. This one, five twenty eight thirteen. Evil New York leaders are planting a false flag. God is calling you to revent. I'm hearing right now that uh, yes, and I'm seeing. I'm getting wisdom and knowledge on this. This will involve children. I'm gonna push this to twenty twenty one. You see, I, I named, let me show you something. For for the people who are really following this and still listening, man, God bless you. I'm going to tell you, God bless you. We still have time to warn left. We still have work we could do for Jesus. We still have people we could love on, help, pray, you know, help the people. This ministry goes out and reaches all aspects, face-to-face, -face, neighbors, uh, a weekly church, Rumble, Facebook, we're doing everything, and we could use your support. I know I rarely ask if ever this ministry needed your support to actually do things for the kingdom of God right before he returns. It's now. Let the chips fall where they may on that. So I, every year I would name, see like right here, 2013 was just messages. 2012 was concerning the end times. So that whole year of 2012, everything I prophesied was concerning now. And that's tying in with the time clock I'm getting. The time. Uh, 2014 messages. So when did I start naming them? In 2000, because there's every year. In 2019, I put it's here. Let's keep going up. There's, there's 20. I'd be interesting. I don't know why they all don't show. There's a lot of things I don't know about the internet. Praise God. I thank you, Jesus. And someone passed the pretzels. 2021, prepare to step into eternity. I received this in December of 2020. No one knew what was going to happen. No one even knew. Was Trump going to stay in office? Was Biden going to stay in office? Were they going to attack? Well, I, I, someone knew. I said what they'd do was set a false flag up and attack the White House. That's what I said would happen before it happened. So do with that whatever you may. It's, it's either fact or not. So this one was called Prepare to Step into Eternity before 2020 ever, ever began. And so these messages are about preparing to step into eternity. If you believe in what's being 
uh, put forth from this channel. So there was one more, right? Is that all three? This earthquake one, it looks like the earthquake map. So this is the third and final one. I told you about the children. I'm going to start wrapping this message up. I told you about Rachel and her children. Why is Rachel weeping at Rama? I've told you about Cain River. I didn't show you that if I went down there, there's a guy, there's actually a guy was putting poison or something into the water supply. And I heard, uh, so I'll finish and cover all, everything. And, uh, and I heard contaminated water. So that's this, right? Let me just see if I could duplicate this once more. And find, and the guy was just spraying. I'm like, why are they, why are they put spraying? So he has like a weed killer bug thing on his back. I'm like, why is he, uh. Why is he spraying in the weeds? So it would have been near water. I've d I'd never seen anybody like... You know what? I think I came down here. I was like, how... That's right. You see, God, how good he is. Stop the press. Date and time. I think I just remembered exactly how I did it sometime. And I'm just going to submit all this and say it's going to happen and we're to pray for our church you can come and follow us sunday and see what god reveals about this it's 137 on 85 i remember how what is the closest i could get to a building because i felt it was a a warning not a natural disaster some type of attack on children and the murderous spirit of Cain and those five evil spirits. On top of my head, we don't have to go back to that part. I could tell you the five evil spirits were murder, rage, mayhem, fear. Murder, rage, mayhem, fear. And there was a fifth one. Well, that's some homework. So I'm like, well, how close can I get to this? Uh, school type looking thing and then that's when i found the that's when i found the school on this other map is everybody with me see so i don't really see any uh see i don't see any water here so i know that's not it so we don't need this map anymore either we're wrapping it up oh did we check these yet are you kidding me I'm staying focused. 127.13, warn my people. Blood, fire, pillars of smoke, earthquakes, five evil spirits. So this is the first one. This was the intro the day before January 28th. I will name the five spirits that the Lord showed me in the vision in part two. And what's this article? Hundreds killed after packed nightclub catches fire. Was this in Brazil? There's the 37437. I showed you 1137. Look, 44. AC and judgment. So this was... It's Brazil. So this is a huge confirmation for me about my Brazil prophecy has fully come to pass. That's my confirmation on that. The scripture, please t take heed of this warning, people. The scripture is Joel 2. Also uh, quoted again by Apostle Peter in Acts 2. Um... So this, I know what this is about, Brazil. This is about serpent, part of the Delta prophecy, Snake Island, it's all kinds of stuff. So we're, what I was curious about was I was going to name them though, right? So where's part two of this? I should be able to put five evil spirits part two, agreed?
if this is telling us of a truth. You see what I mean? I wouldn't have changed the title. A lot of my videos are just vanishing and I'm just moving on. Please hear my final watchman warning cries and prayer over them. Then I'll end with the play in Revelation 2 and 3. You could go read it. You can watch this and go read it if you want to. Maybe I'll attach the link to it. We'll see. There's part in there about talking about how children. There's a part about Revelation 2 and 3 is a warning to the churches right before the rapture of things they have to repent of. And it mentions being cast into tribulation, tolerating Jezebel. It, it talks about the time we're in right now and what the fake church is telling you to believe. He's saying, man, that in the work, the Nicolaitans. And then he mentions the church of Philadelphia. And then the seals open. And so somehow at this time and moment of time right now, you've been chosen to see. I had put helpful links on specific details. What this is, is I was going to go live and do this, and it wouldn't work, and it popped this up. And what I figured out is this is a live I had said a long time ago to go live and warn about that was never published. If this, if the, amen, I will, Holy Spirit, that could be a bold claim and uh, couldn't be correct. So, if, if this is the title of the video, and it did indeed stream, it will be listed here. If it's not, in fact, ever streamed before, then it's a warning for right now. You see? This never streamed that I know of. I don't propose to tell any lie. So, helpful link with specific details from a warning that was never released in the path. Uh, in the past for such a time as this for you to hear. Let's see. May 27, 2021. Hey, look, this is Dutch sense. Oh, wait. I was linking to Dutch sense. The description in, from May says the biggest earthquake in California in the past 50 years. Was in May? Well, so then, oh, that was California. And 8.2 was the biggest one Alaska had in years, right? The recent one they say could be 9.5. So this says giant plume of moisture bursts at California volcano Piscot crater seen on so these are specific details the Holy Spirit gave us to watch and warn about I could keep on doing this even though I'm getting thirsty a little hungry or, or I mean we could keep going I mean see what what would you do and my Google Earth is no longer Earth it's just a blank white piece so I can't find it so is there anywhere? Oh, yeah, so I came down here. I don't see any water down here anyway, but I remember doing this. And then taking off in one of these directions. I don't remember which one. And there was a guy spraying something in the river. And I'm like, what are the odds? That I would drop right down on this dude, and it was a it was a warning sign about a contamination in the water company, which is a prophecy I was given concerning New York. So if I don't find this guy spraying the water here, real quick, I'll move on from it. But this is the message I got in response to the person asking. Yeah, see, none of this looks familiar. Just a crossroads. So it is what it is. But if I put in Pigla Crater, California, you see what I'm expecting and warning about, and I know nothing of earthquakes or how they work, but I know a lot of things about the kingdom of God and how revelation works. 
And I was just blessed to even have more of it. I'm telling you, we're at a crossroads. I'm telling you, the geysers is a thermal power plant run by steam captured in the ground, and it's going to blow big. So let's see where Dutch Sense is uh, pointing to. Did the world get flipped upside down again, I think? I think. Let's see where this is. 11 SNU. I'd say that's pretty close. Right here. I'd say that's pretty close. And the one I'm warning about is up here. The same thing. Earthquake tsunami. It's from a steam blast. Up here it's called the geysers. Started warning about that. Actually, uh, it looked 10 sec, like in 10 seconds. Whew. Final hour, 10 seconds to go. How long is that to you? Oh, so I, that's probably the plume. I see, so the, but there was one more thing I wanted to check. That the following video underneath what I'm highlighting is probably his next rad link to the plume he was showing it move. Now there's nothing but uh, Gaza Strip. now there's nothing but fire everywhere. Watchman warning, I tell you the riddle of the three seven, the next phase of the three seven war and arc scape. And then this part oh here's another one, a third one. I'm gonna have to get going, I'm sensing something. But I'll put this out. Updates on New York location and what's with all the sudden kneeling. So where, what part of New York is this? New York City Hall. Okay. You're simply not going to believe this. Dear Lord, please give me strength to be able to finish your most amazing message you've ever given me, Lord. Please let me, let things line up with your will, Lord. In Jesus' name, Lord, Father God. I tell you, saints, my my flesh is weak, but my spirit is stronger than ever. I, I speak as a man serving a holy God who reveals truth in advance. I'm nothing more than a servant of his. Barely going to crawl into heaven through his mercy and grace. But my gift was knowing things proven for 10 years and if it's about ready to change now where I'm suddenly no longer hearing the truth then these things wouldn't be lining up but the matter of fact would mean that I am deceived and that I'm going to hell so this is serious talk in big business if suddenly I'm suddenly wrong now right when we get to the end and telling you the end of all things is at hand and you're going to see a war rise up then there's no need to even listen anymore. Because my warning is, these are my final warnings, and I will continue to keep touching you somehow, but it's not going to be a lot on social media. Patreon and Rumble, basically I'll start focusing on Patreon and Rumble. But saints, I don't know. I can't say for sure what I'm even going to do tomorrow. It's just times are so tough and so hard. And uh, I, I pray for strength that I could pray for you uh, in my weakness of my flesh. So what I was told to do was to take this location. So wait a minute. So New York City Hall is where they put the bail arch. And what I was talking about was suddenly... Everybody started kneeling everywhere. Let's have a look at this. I'll mute my microphone for a second. And let me let me say this also. I had to stop and pray for a little bit on whether to play the scripture or end this quickly and have it be 10 minutes less. And I I said to myself, there is no way in God's green earth that adding the words of God himself 
to lengthen a message could go wrong. There's no way that plain a scripture God gave me to warn of and just simply letting the scripture speak for itself be a bad thing. So if you're concerned about the next 10 minutes being the word of God and you don't have time for it, check yourself. I, I'm telling you, I'm checking myself. I'm not telling you to do something I'm not doing. We all should be checking ourselves. New York City Hall, so let's see what was said then. But there's more to it than this. When, when I make a video like this, I've, I've realized after 2,500 or more videos that it can take years for this stuff to be uh, revealed by God in his own way in a miraculous way and so I'm just letting this video just archive here on my channel but I did want to take note that I am receiving something that this is symbolic and it involves the courts I want to take mention of this the courthouse over here so this is the this is the area that we we're looking at here's fully square so over here is New York That is really frustrating. I, I'd hit the mute to play this. What so? What's it? Uh, I apologize. That that shows you an imperfect person is giving you this message. So so what's happening at New York City Hall in this trial that I'm talking about? And why was everybody kneeling? Well, it, it was the it was the NWO rising, and when the NWO rises, the AC rises. The spirit of the Antichrist was here from the beginning. People are saying that the spirit of the Antichrist is not ri rising. Have zero discernment in spiritual realms and matters, and should be teaching and speaking zero on things of that nature. Because there's people here who will call you out. If led be, if need to. You start taking souls out of the hands of Jesus Christ. And that is, can they be snatched? A whole nother thing. So what, what is that city hall? And, and so this is the Trump trial. The Trump organization's on trial for criminal matters. So we want to take that same city hall. I just can't believe that they it's just a blank thing. It should be Google Earth icon sitting there on the quick task bar for me to click on to see Earth and click on it, but suddenly that's not going to work anymore. Are you following all this stuff? So I'm going to put in uh, City Hall, New York, because that was one of the portal of uh, bail locations. City Hall, New York. So, and this is from a message in May. And it's being brought up today. The message from May is being brought up today. Today is the fifth. Are those five evil spirits now fully released? I ask. I, I inquire of the father of that. So clearly a line runs right through it. Right? Great tribulation and riots. And the line down here, City Hall, City Hall Park, where they put that, look, it's a hidden portal. This is where they put that arch. There's a hidden portal. So, oh, look, another obelisk. 
See now, if if the devil is revealing this to you, and the the shot you're considering isn't the mark, then that means I'm the devil lying to you, and, but showing you real true things that are happening. But I'm telling you, if it is, how could this stuff just, I mean, let's go to the scripture. I, uh, I believe I've said everything. I, I ask everybody to read Romans 8. I tell you, God loves you. Let, let me just close in prayer um, as we go to this scripture. I believe I've showed everything I need to show. I believe I've heard it. Oh, one more thing. This mantanda.org forward slash our work. What is this? I was warning about from May. Because if everything else has been related to right now from May. And it was June that this outpouring of the 21 Delta prophecy began on June 8th then what is happening on 8-5 right now with this man Tatanda let me try to pronounce it I thought it was Manhattan oh my bad it, it is Manhattan it's Manhattan district attorney why was I linking to this Scales of justice, handshake. Well, they ought to change that. If you if you can't shake hands, must stay six feet apart and uh, mask up. Well, they better take that away. They're saying partnership, partner community partnerships with spreading viruses. This crime, crime. You know what's a crime? This whole uh, smartphone encryption and public safety. You know what? I'm going to tell you what's a crime. Let me tell you what's a crime. And where is this? I'm going to tell you what the crime is. What do I do, Lord? Okay. 530. A lot of reasons I'm choosing this. That's actually the area code. So I, ha I need about 10 minutes to play the scripture. That's mandatory. It's going to happen. So might be time for me to stop warning here pretty quick. So this is north of that. This is called Washington Heights. Anybody? Anybody anything on Washington Heights, New York? 530 West, 100 in 66th Street, number 600, Suite A. New York has some uh, buildings are shaped so differently than California buildings. Uh, so this is probably about the hundredth time I've shown a very specific area. And let me... Uh, Hang on. Boom. And once again, the devil is exposed. Let's go to the word. What do you see here? You know what I see? Pharmacia. The spirit of pharmacai is what's caught. The spirit of pharmacai is what's causing the deceived people to tell you, don't you go worrying about going out and getting that poison in you with all the aborted baby cell fetuses and tracking devices and Lucifer Ace and oh no God don't care about those ingredients. Mm hmm Who are you listening to, Saints man? I'm telling you God is showing things here. Look. Pharmacia. I'm thinking of the spirit of pharmacia. I'm putting up the date and time. I believe it is the MOTB.
and I got that from this and so closing out I covered all of this and so this is obedience so Sunday will also be obedience if the Lord wills it I now present unto you Revelation 2 and 3 and I'll step out of the way Revelation 2 Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write, These things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know thy works, and thy labor, and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not, and hast found them liars. And hast borne, and hast patience, and for my name's sake hast labored, and hast not fainted. Nevertheless I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. But this thou hast, that thou hatest the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. And unto the angel of the church in Smyrna write, These things saith the first and the last, which was dead, and is alive. I know thy works, and tribulation, and poverty. But thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not but are the synagogue of Satan. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. And to the angel of the church in Pergamos write, These things saith he which hath the sharp sword with two edges. I know thy works, and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is. And thou holdest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith. Even in those days when Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. But I have a few things against thee, because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols, and to commit fornication. So hast thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which thing I hate. Repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth saving he that receiveth it. And unto the angel of the church in Thyatira write, These things saith the Son of God, who hath his eyes like unto a flame of fire, and his feet are like fine brass. I know thy works, and charity, and service, and faith, and thy patience, and thy works, and the last to be more than the first. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication, and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. And I gave her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. Behold, I will cast her into a bed, and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. And I will kill her children with death, and all the churches shall know that I am he which searcheth the reins and hearts, and I will give unto every one of you according to your works. But unto you I say, and unto the rest in Thyatira, 
as many as have not this doctrine and which have not known the depths of Satan as they speak, I will put upon you none other burden. But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my Father. And I will give him the morning star. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Revelation 3 And unto the angel of the church in Sardis write, These things saith he that hath the seven spirits of God, and the seven stars. I know thy works, that thou hast a name that thou livest, and art dead. Be watchful, and strengthen the things which remain, that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard, and hold fast, and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Thou hast a few names even in Sardis which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These things saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth, and no man shutteth, and shutteth, and no man openeth. I know thy works, behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews, and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God and I will write upon him my new name. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write, These things saith the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth, because thou sayest, I am rich, and increased with goods, and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched, and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear and anoint thine eyes with eye salve, that thou mayest see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him, and he with me. To him that overcometh, Will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame, and am set down with my Father in his throne? He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches.
Revelation 4. After this I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone, and there was a rainbow round about the throne, in sight like unto an emerald. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats, and upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting.